Right guys, you're doing really well if you can handle these questions because this homework does go from grade 7 to 8 plus I would say. I would say this is a 6 plus or grade 6 question at least. But Matterwatch says this starts at 7 so this must be grade 7. Right, so M equals a quarter here and we call that M1 because you can't have two different M's having two different values that's why we called it m2 so m2 must be minus 4 because we have to remember m1 times m2 has to equal minus 1 for the lines to be perpendicular to each other right so just so you can visualize this and it will help you with your understanding imagine that's the y-axis and the x-axis so we've got a line here that's going quarter x plus 5 so I'm going to say quarter y equals a quarter x plus 5 here and that's the coordinate 0 5 there now we want to find the perpendicular line but it's going through 0 2 so we write y equals we know what m2 is minus 4 x plus c now now because x equals 0 2 must be the y-intercept. So imagine if this coordinate is 0, 2 here. So we want to find, so the perpendicular line would be something like that if I drew this well and that's the right angle there. And so you know the y-intercept is 2 so you can just straight away write minus 4x plus 2 and we're done. Right let's look at this one. It's a similar skills now you've got m equals minus 3 over 4 that's your m1 so your m2 equals positive 4 over 3 because you should know if you work that out that will equal minus 1 so again this graph minus 3 over 4x let's say that's y equals minus 3 over 4x minus 3 so that coordinate here Ooh, that's a mistake minus 3 goes somewhere down there let's say that one's plus 3 Okay, so drawing a sketch could help you. So all we write is y equals 4 over 3x plus c now. x is 0 here. So this must be the y, uh, the y intercept when x is 0. Because that coordinate is here. Let's just say that's there. 0 minus 1. So essentially we just want to find that line and that line is going to be y equals 4 over 3x because we've got the gradient minus 1. Perfect. Set the gradient to... Oh, set, select the equation of a straight line that is perpendicular. Well, you know m equals 3 here, that's m1, so m2 must equal minus 1 over 3 and that's the only thing you need to look at so it's this one okay perfect right let's try this grade 4 to 7 question now if you've followed everything I've done so far this is easy, this is grade 4 because you've got the line so let's see that is 1 that is 3 so m1 equals that the gradient of the line a b is 1 over 3 but remember it's going downhill so you have to say it's negative that's important imagine if you got that wrong you'll mess up the whole question right so m1 times m2 
has to equal minus 1. So M2 must equal to 3. Because 3 times minus a third equals minus 1. So using the y equals mx plus c skills, we've got y equals 3x plus c. We need to substitute that coordinate in. So we've got 2 equals 3 times 4 is 12 plus c. So we minus 12 on both sides to find the c. So that's going to be minus 10 equals c. So the final answer has got to be y equals 3x minus 10. And I'm hoping you see, and that's grade 7 minimum, I would say 7 plus, that that's actually very easy for you now. If you've got strong skills at everything else, I would say this is more difficult than Pythagoras 3D because you have to use so many more skills on top of each other. So where's the point 4, 2? 4, 2 is here. So this line, essentially you're finding the gradient of that line, that's the right angle. And you can see that if you continue that on, that would probably hit, that would definitely hit minus 10 later. And that is the line, the perpendicular line you found. So hopefully you can see that visually and that makes a lot more sense to you. You guys are so good if you can do these questions. Right, so this is going uphill, so that's fine. Gradient of the line AB, remember we want it crossing the corners of these squares to be perfect, but it actually crosses here as well. So I'm gonna use that one because that's easier. So you can see that gradient is one over two. M equals one over two. So the perpendicular line M1 times M2 equals minus one. So a half times minus 2 equals minus 1. So M2 must be minus 2. Now, so Y equals MX plus C, remember? So we've got Y equals minus 2X plus C. Now we want the midpoint of AB. So this is grade 8 because of what is now the midpoint. If this was a question with just the numbers, you'd have to use the midpoint formula. But as you've got the graph here, you can see the midpoint is here. You can see that visually, right? So you're doing that from the coordinate 3, 0. And essentially... we want that line, that's the perpendicular line, and you can see that's going to be minus 2. The gradient's correct, so we substitute 3, 0 into all of this. So 3 is the x, y is a 0, so 0 equals what's minus 2 times 3, minus 6 plus c, so we can get the y-intercept, so we plus 6 on both sides, so c equals 6 here. And we finish that off saying y equals minus 2x plus 6. And if my line was perfect, you can see that actually working for real. So these visual examples are really good. And in future videos, I will build up more visual understanding. It's just the time of the videos. Perfect. Right, now this question is grade 8 at least. I would say it's grade 8, because you need to know what the word bisector means. Bisector means cutting it perfectly in half. So, essentially that just means finding the midpoint. That's there. Let's find the gradient of this line. The height is 2 and that's 1. So let's remember, always check, it's going downhill. So M1 equals 2 divided by 1 but it's downhill so it's minus 2 and hopefully you can see why I showed you that mistake hopefully you spotted it spotted it, spotted it. but um, you can imagine that happens quite a lot hopefully so that's got to be minus 2 is m1 so that's got to be a half to make that equal minus 1 
So M2 equals minus 1. I mean, a half. Confusing myself from my own working out. Right, so we've got Y equals a half X plus C. And that line is going to look something like that, just so you can see some more. And hopefully this uh, lesson will really build up your understanding. But my classes know that I do sometimes like to teach the skill first and build up the understanding later. Because sometimes that's just easier. Because you all know how to use your iPhones, right? Anyone can use an iPhone. But for you to actually understand how the iPhone works and the program behind that, that's really high level knowledge. So that's why it's easier to use something before understanding how why it, it all works. So let's look at this coordinate here. We know that's 1, 3. So hopefully you're really good at this with all the exercises I've given you. So you substitute that 1, 3 into this formula. So 3 is y. A half times 1 is a half for x plus c minus a half from both sides. So 2.5 equals c. So you get y equals a half x plus 2.5 and that is a grade 8 question achieved now you can see in the diagram that looks correct so sometimes drawing any of these questions really help you double check where you're going right or wrong visualize it and sometimes you do this as a best practice in a real exam so it does help you double check your answers so this is finding the gradient between two points so we've got the point minus 5 2 and the line B which is 7 minus 2 and actually it doesn't matter which way round you call uh, y2 or x2 it will just work either way but I always like to use the second coordinate as y2 because generally it gives you positive answers more often and it's a bit easier long term. Right, so y2 minus y1, that's minus 2 minus 2 divided by 7 minus minus 5. That changes to a plus, so that becomes minus 4 over 12. You know that equals a third, so m equals minus a third and hopefully that's understood and that's why I wanted to show you this because you can see now that's minus a third so you know m1 times m2 has to equal minus 1 so you've got minus a third times 3 has got it's going to equal minus 1 so m2 equals 3 so we just go y equals 3x plus c. And this is going to come really easy to you once you practice a lot. It's just a lot of skills building on top of each other. Okay, so we're going to do that from the point c. So c is minus 2, 5. So this line is basically something like that. That's what they want you to find. So we just substitute those coordinates in and it will work. So that's the x and that's the y. So 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 plus c. y equals 5. So we want a plus 6 on each both sides. So 11 equals c. Now we're complete. That line is y equals 3x plus 11. And that's a grade 8 achieved and we've actually finally got there and if you can do this guys this is so awesome because I taught this to a year 10 top set in my previous school and they were a smart class as well and that's when they learn it so if you're doing this in year 9 it shows you how much potential you've got and hopefully if you can do this you can see wow you've got the potential to get grade 8 or grade 9 because you have got those skills as long as it's built up really impressed